Hey friends! Before we start the show, we want to give a quick shout out to a few members of our Patreon family. That's right! We want to send out a big hola to our amiga Isla, her mama Hannah, and her perros Rainy and Puddle. Isla, your perros have such cute names! We're so happy to hear that you all are having fun learning Spanish with us, and we want to say thank you for being such wonderful listeners and supporters of our show. We also want to give a shout out to a big family of Cinco, our amigos Radimir, Levana, Zorian, their mama Elena, and their papa Ali. When I hear such beautiful and unique names, I always look up their meanings, and here's what I found. Radimir means joyful and peace. Levana means moon and white. Zorian means happy. Elena means torch or beautiful bright light. And Ali? Well, you might not believe this, but Ali means elf army. Whoa. Looks like you've got quite an army on your hands, Mr. Ali. <laughs> and of course, if your name is actually short for Oliver, then that means olive tree. Thanks to all of our Patreon families for your support. It really means the world to us. Now on with the show. Hello, friends. Hola, amigos. How are you? Como están? I'm so happy. Estoy feliz. To be with you. A estar contigo. Are you hungry? Tienen hambre. To sing and play. A cantar y jugar. Cause on our menu. Porque en el menu. It's Spanish today. Everybody sing. No, I said Spanish. Okay, with us today. Eat your Spanish! With Evan and Vanessa. Hello, friends. Me Evan. My name's Evan. Hola, amigos. Y yo me llamo Vanessa. And my name's Vanessa. Welcome to the first review episode of Season 2 of Eat Your Spanish, where we learn the words about our hogar, or home. We also learn the differences between the words home and house. The word home is hogar, and the word house is... <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner! One of our listeners sent in a question that was a perfect match for last week's subject. And that listener is our amigo Max. Let's hear his question. Hola, my name is Max. Um, I was wondering how you say house in Spanish. Adios. Way to go, Max. That was a great question. Do you remember what the word for house is from last week? Hmm, was it casa? That's right, Evan. Great guess. Casa is the word for house. Thanks for your great question, Max, and for being such an amazing listener. Yeah, thanks, Max, and congratulations on setting off the alarm. So, amigos, for today we'll be reviewing the words for the rooms inside of our casa and our hogar, and then we've got a fun game to play with you. Then at the very end of our episode, we'll give one special listener the chance to ask us a question about how to say a word or phrase in Spanish. But first, it's time for a little review of our words from last week. Spanish review time! All right, now it's time to take a look back at our lesson from last week. Evan, rewind the tape. So, Vanessa, what are the words that we'll be learning today? Today we'll be learning the words for kitchen, living room, bathroom, and bedroom. Or in Spanish, la cocina, la sala, el baño, y el cuarto. Just like in the first season, I'll say the words in Spanish, and then you all can repeat it out loud along with Evan. First, we'll start with the kitchen. In Spanish, we say la cocina. So repeat after me, la cocina. La cocina. La cocina. La cocina. Great work, 
back, amigos. Now for the living room. In Spanish, we say la sala. So repeat after me. La sala. La sala. La sala. La sala. Excelente, amigos. Dos down, dos to go. For the bathroom, we say el baño in Spanish. So repeat after me. El baño. El baño. El baño. El baño. Muy bien! Our final word for today is the bedroom, which in Spanish is el cuarto. So repeat after me. El cuarto. El cuarto. El cuarto. El cuarto. Great job, amigos! Yeah, muy bien! Now it's time to play a Spanish game together. Spanish game time! Okay, amigos, now that we've practiced the words for kitchen, or la cocina, the living room, or la sala, the bathroom, or el baño, and the bedroom, or el cuarto, it's time to use our words to play a fun game. In this game, we will be traveling to different rooms in the house, and you'll hear sound clues that will help you guess which room in our hogar we are in. Before we travel to each new room, you'll hear this sound. Yay! I love this game! It's so much fun to use our ears and imaginations together to figure out which room we're in. Before we start, let's go over some of our sounds that we might hear in each room. First, let's go over la cocina. Now that we've heard some cocina or kitchen sounds, let's listen to el baño and see what we might hear in there. Wow, it's like I'm actually in el baño or the bathroom. Now let's listen to el cuarto or the bedroom. That one's a little tricky, but I know I heard someone sleeping and an alarm clock, and those are bedroom or cuarto sounds. And now for our last set of sounds, let's listen to la sala or the living room. <laughs> Sounds like la sala to me. Hey amigos, I've got a great idea. How about we close our eyes when we listen to the sounds, so that way we can activate our superhuman listening power. Want to try it with me for round one? Okay, here we go. Let's close our eyes and open our ears. Are we in la cocina, la sala, el baño, or el cuarto? All right, amigos, eyes open. Can you guess what room we were just listening to? Time's up. If you guessed la cocina or the kitchen, that's correct. We were hearing kitchen sounds. Great work, amigos. Now on to the next room. Let's close our eyes and open our ears. Do we think that these sounds are in la cocina, la sala, el baño, or el cuarto? All right, amigos, eyes open. Can you guess what room we were just listening to? Time's up, amigos. If you guessed el baño, muy bien. We were hearing sounds in the bathroom. All right, amigos, on to our next room. Let's close our eyes and open our ears. Does this sound like la sala, the living room, or el cuarto, the bedroom?
All right, amigos, eyes open. Can you guess what room we were just listening to? Time's up. If you guessed El Cuarto, you're 100% correct. We were hearing sounds from the bedroom. Okay, amigos, last but not least, we've got round numero cuatro. Let's close our eyes and open our ears. Are we listening to sounds from la cocina, la sala, el baño, or el cuarto? All right, amigos, eyes open. Can you guess what room we were just listening to? Time's up, amigos. If you guessed la sala or the living room, you got it. Great listening, amigos. Yeah, muy bien, amigos. It's so much fun to play listening games with all of you. And now that you've heard sounds from all the rooms in our hogar, that can only mean one thing. That's right. It's time to hear a question from one of our special listeners. I can't wait to hear it. Vanessa, who is this week's special listener? This week's special listener is a member of our Patreon familia, and her name is... Sophia! <laughs> Sophia, what is your question? Hello, my name is Sophia. What's your question, babe? Heart. How do you say in, in Spanish heart? Aw, Sophia, that's a really special question to ask. A heart is such a beautiful symbol of love, and at the same time, it's such an important part of our body. That's so true, Vanessa. So how do you say heart in Spanish? The word heart in Spanish is corazón. So repeat after me. Corazón. 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 Muy bien, amigos. Yeah, great work, friends. You know, something I always thought was really interesting about the heart is that whenever I'm feeling very big feelings, like when I'm really happy or when I'm feeling sad, I always feel those feelings in my chest by my heart. Does that ever happen to you? Yeah, it happens to me too. Another thing about the heart that I find interesting actually has to do with the Spanish language. When you say the phrase, mi corazón, which translates to my heart, it can actually be a term of endearment, like calling someone sweetheart. Oh my goodness! You mean you're telling me that if I call Mr. Mouse mi corazón, it's like I'm calling him my sweetheart? Oh, hey, Mrs. Elephant. <laughs> I didn't know you were there, but yeah, that's exactly right. Oh my goodness! I gotta tell him this right away. Oh, Mr. Mouse, where are you, mi corazón? I've got a secret for you. Adios, Mrs. Z. So, amigos, is there anyone in your lives that you love a lot? Your mama or papa? Your abuelo or abuela? Your hermano or hermana, maybe? Or your perro? Or your gato? Well, next time you see them, you can tell them this. Tu eres mi corazón. That means you are my sweetheart. Can you repeat it after me? Tu eres mi corazón. Tu eres mi corazón. Tu eres mi corazón. Tu eres mi corazón. And Sofia, tu eres mi corazón. You are my special sweetheart for asking such a special question. Yes, Sofia, thanks for your beautiful question and for being such a special listener and supporter of our show. If any of you listeners out there ever want us to answer one of your questions, just visit us on eatyourspanishpodcast.com and you can send us in your question. And if you record your question on one of your parents' phones and send it to us, then you can have the chance of hearing your own voice on one of our podcasts. Aw, oh, man. That sound means it's almost time to go. It was so much fun sharing Spanish together today, and we'll look forward to sharing more with you very soon. Yeah, you all did such a great job reviewing our words, and we had so much fun playing our Spanish listening game with you all. We'll see you soon for our next episode. Until then! Ah!
amigos. Goodbye, friends. Hasta luego. See you later. Thanks for listening to the Eat Your Spanish podcast. You can support our podcast by visiting patreon.com forward slash eat your Spanish or by subscribing to it and leaving a review on iTunes. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, or on the web at eatyourspanishpodcast.com. Thanks for listening. Adios. Adios.